All right, going to hop into another swing check here from my buddy Coleman. This is Ryan from Golf Fit. So first things first, overall posture and setup, pretty solid. Uh, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and get into our takeaway. All right, so we got a little bit of an inside takeaway, meaning that the club face goes inside of the hand path there and behind the body. Ideally, if you watch the PGA Tour pros, they have the club face in alignment with the hands in the takeaway. If you watch my last swing check that I did with George, he's a pretty good example of what that looks like. Um, but, you know, th this is, you know, the minor details and nuances of a swing that um, don't necessarily make or break you um, if you do some other things right. So let's keep moving forward. Get you up to the top. Really good top position. No complaints. You got a, a nice bent knee there, so you're loading into the right knee. Uh, good hand position at the top. Everything looks good. Now, as we start the downswing, you do a fantastic job of shallowing out the club, making sure that it's parallel to the primary swing plane line. That wasn't a very good line draw there. There we go. Uh, parallel to the primary swing plane line, so that's really good there. As you get into the hitting zone, this is where things get interesting. You do have the face of the golf club behind the hands in, uh, in this position, which is great. Now, as you get in, into the hitting zone, this is where you might be struggling a little bit. You can see here, if I draw a line on the top of your head, you're going to notice that your head is going to rise above the line. And that's because your body's really smart and it knows what to do when you don't do things correctly. And it, so it's, it's auto adjusting, right? So what you're doing is you're trying to create space for the hands and arms to come through. So you're adjusting, they're naturally adjusting the spine angle by rising, okay? And the reason why that happens is because your body stops turning and tilting. If you watch that downswing one more time, you can see for the amount that the club is moving, the body did not move very, very far. And so if you want to look at a good example of hip turn and shoulder turn and shoulder tilt, which are the three most important components at the hitting position. Look at my Dustin Johnson video from the side view. He's a really good example of that. So if you can get your body turning and tilting more, you won't have to create space as you come through. And that should also uh, dramatically help you with contact. Now, to get that to happen, it's going to require some drills and it's going to require some odd feelings, meaning your golf game will probably get worse before it gets better. But I promise you that if you can get into those hitting positions, it will be well worth it in the long run. I hope that helps. As always, aim small, swing smooth, peace.